Okay, I don't know if this is actually gonna be the hardest thing that I'm gonna do today or the thing that I'm gonna do before this is the hardest thing. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the hardest thing to do today or the second hardest. That ice bath is sometimes pretty hard to get into. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Hard things. We're doing hard things today. And one of the hard things I'm not gonna do is film with that broken camera that you saw in the last vlog because manually focusing while trying to film a vlog at the same time is a thing of hardness that I'm not trying to do today. So we're not doing that. But something I'm doing is cleaning snakes today, which uh, you know, it's not the easiest thing necessarily to get up out of bed in the morning, especially when you've got a, a sick baby who is staying up at all hours of the night, which which that, that's also hard, but definitely worth it. I think some, some hard things are more worth it than other hard things. And uh, having a sick baby and being a mommy, I'm not a mommy, but, but in Hillary's position, being up pretty much most of the night with him, that's hard. I bet if you asked her though, she'd say it was worth it. Getting up in the morning to clean the snakes, go through a single enclosure and throw poop and touch poop and be part of poop <laughs> in a very big way, besides just baby diapers, that's, Is it worth it? <laughs> it's it's uh, most of the time. Most of the time, it's worth it. It's pretty cool to be able to do what we do with these animals. So it's I'd say that's like right there, even worth it. Uh, could hire somebody potentially to clean this poop, and um, that might be hard for me to let somebody else do it. Uh, that would definitely be hard for me. I know that because I've I've had the opportunity to potential ha potentially hire people, and I just don't. I don't. I've never really done the, done the full trigger pull. I've had people volunteer, people help out while I'm out of town, but to hire somebody, that's hard, that's hard. Maybe something, some hard thing that we'll visit in the future. Maybe, we'll see. But I'm doing something today that is, I'm doing a lot of hard things today, to be honest. Um, some of them really hard. One of them really hard in particular. I know I had a video too where I was kind of like focused on the idea of work smarter, not harder. No, the whole video wasn't focused on that, never mind. It was just a little tip to work smarter and not harder. And I still agree with that for sure. You definitely want to work smarter and not harder when you can, like, like bringing this trash can right into the snake room instead of like doing multiple trips, you know, multiple different fills to think, we're gonna just wheel it in here, make it happen. And once take, take many steps out of the process as possible for cleaning poop, but. Check this out. This is one of the few pairings I'm doing this year. She's in shed right now, unfortunately. She See how dark she is right now? More recently, she's been like the same color, like twice as bright as the gray on these Freedom Breeder tubs. Like twice as bright as it. Does you see how dark she is right now? The Freedom Breeder tubs are not a good example. Like she's been like almost, almost white because of how like she's glowing from being gravid. And I'm excited because this girl was, uh, a production from my buddy Grant Hanegraaff's back in 2017. So six years, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, you know, three winters or, you know, two and a half years old, whatever female can breed. Can, sure. Will, mm, <laughs> different story. So pretty excited that she's actually got, uh, oh, let me double check. I'm pretty sure she does. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She is ovulated already. She's gravid. GHI Mojave, pinstripe, possibly extreme gene. Het clown female paired with a stranger red stripe GHI yellow belly <laughs> Het clown. It, it's a it's a crazy pairing. I'm super excited about it. Super excited about it. Can you imagine a super GHI stranger clown? This girl's also gravid. Another Grant Hennegraff's Hetty Herps production. Yellow belly pinstripe extreme gene. 100% Het clown paired with a Enchi red stripe spot nose clown. Did that pairing before. One of the most beautiful snakes we've ever produced here at Triple B came from that pairing. Stoked to be doing it again. Portuguese pythons, go check them out. Awesome folks, awesome folks. Okay, I don't know if this is actually gonna be the hardest thing that I'm gonna do today or the thing that I'm gonna do before this is the hardest thing. I'm not sure, but I just got this thing. It's just obviously it's a little pool, plunge pool filled with water and these are frozen ice blocks. And I'm just gonna plop those in there before I go on this other crazy adventure. And I'm just gonna let them sit in there and do their thing and... Why is that not even frozen? It was in the freezer all night. 
I guess they're pretty good at being thermal and keeping each other from, but that, oh. That one is frozen solid. Uh, plop that sucker in there. Ah, uh, frozen. Also frozen. Okay. So, we'll come back to that. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the hardest thing to do today or the second hardest. That ice bath is sometimes pretty hard to get into. A little easier after what we're about to do, I think, right now, but. So, I'm training for running a 10K at a seven minute a mile pace which is a goal I had set for myself last year, but I stopped running last year towards the end, second half of the year, so I didn't make that goal. So I'm gonna try and do it by the end of March. I'm doing a training run today, and part of the training run, aside from the warm up and the cadence drills and stuff, is to do 10 half mile segments at a six and a half mile, or six, six minute, 30 second pace, you know, per mile pace. It's for me and my 190 pound, but that's pretty fast. So I imagine it's gonna be pretty difficult. Noah's gonna help me film a little bit and, uh... hey Noah. Yeah? What do you know? I know. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty that's pretty in depth knowledge there, but you, you know you're carrying a backpack. Any anything? Any, any, would you care to elaborate at all? <laughs> uh, I am carrying this camera bag made for carrying cameras, and I will be carrying the camera that my father is currently holding in this bag. Wow, deep deep thoughts with Noah Sage. I also know that I lost um. I'm not sure if it would be considered a molar, but I lost a tooth last night, and it hurt. It hurt? I yanked it right out. <laughs> there was blood. I'm good. I'm about falling behind, bud. Um, got I got longer legs, bigger muscles, and bigger lungs. That's one of ten. <sighs> Nine more to go. I'm gonna let Noah go home because this is probably a lot for a little dude. I know I take the camera Hi. and I'll see you at home. All right. That was hard. I will say that was very hard. In fact, just making it seem like jumping into here is gonna be a whole lot easier than that. So there's still frozen ice blocks in here, which means that water is, that is some cold water. <laughs> it's the Morph Market commercial girl. <laughs> Honestly, I think that this is gonna be easier than that run was, which is great. That's the great thing about doing the hard stuff is everything else seems easy. Lord willing, those three things, clean a snake poop, those 10 half mile sprints, and what I'm about to do is get in this cold tub will be the three hardest things that I do today, making the rest of the day a breeze. How about that? That's why. That's why it's good to do hard stuff. Oh, of course I'm doing it. What, what, what? I said I was thinking about it, but I was scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> and it's not like a hot day. I will say the first time that I went into a cold plunge, I involuntarily breathed. <laughs> that, that very first time I went into a cold plunge tub was at uh, Brian Barchek's uh, several years ago. 
And it was everything I could do to stay in that tub for four minutes and 20 seconds, the goal that I set for myself. And uh, I've built up since then. It's become easier since then. I've, I've gone as far as like 10 minutes, but I've also learned that you don't need to be in the tub any longer than 11 minutes in a given week. At least that's the, the most recent studies say. So I figure maybe like three, four minute sessions a week is great. And why do more than that? You know, that's part of the harder, not that's part of the smarter, not harder thing. It's like, I don't need to sit in this tub for 10 minutes if I'm not gonna get any more benefit than if I said for four minutes, three times a week. So what do you know? Environment's getting smaller. What? The environment is getting The environment's getting smaller? Yes! I thought the universe was expanding. All right, here we go. The down trees. <laughs> but more trees are growing. It's still getting smaller. <laughs> it's not the only thing. It's going to be getting smaller in a second here. Come closer, T. Well, I filled that like perfectly. It, it, it didn't even really overflow, right? It went like right to the top, like no overflow. I guess I nailed that. <sighs> yeah, controlling the breathing and just, and the other thing is like willingly doing something hard, man. I just can't, I can't preach it enough. It just makes the rest of your life so much more doable with less whining. Right, T? Yeah, some cold stuff though, bro. Tell you what, no joke. These little ice blocks are still ice. That's some cold stuff. Hmm, ah! cold face. Hey T, would you get me my hat, please? Ah, uh, man, tell you what, I'm sure glad that sun's coming out from behind that cloud right now, but it's, it's really not that bad. Well, ice water, especially knowing that I've done it for 10 minutes and this time I'm only gonna do four. Pretty easy, I, I think the running was the hardest thing today. What would be harder for you guys? Leave a comment down below. Would, would you have a harder time doing the 10 half mile sprints or jumping in this ice bath for four minutes? Which one do you think is harder? <laughs> I don't like to put the hands in because it's just like, why? You know, why? My hands need to do small motor skills. Then it's freezing. I can already see goosebumps on you. Oh, yeah, there's goosebumps. Cold, cold, cold. So cold. Oh, it's already been four minutes? No way. I got I give one more minute. It's been five minutes and I feel like I can sit in here for another five. No problem. Wow. Yeah, that's great though. I, I did tell you that we're not gonna smarter not harder. No reason to do it. We're gonna get out. Hey. What? Can I see my camera? What's the hardest thing you're gonna do today? Is it gonna be a harder thing than it was before you watched this video or are you gonna go ahead and do something a little harder just to challenge yourself? Leave a comment down below. And uh, in the meantime, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.